And welcome to another Sunday Funday Grace Kids Church at Home, where we've been talking about the grace ABCs. We've learned that God's grace is abundant, it beckons believers, it's creative, it did everything, and it is expanding. Today, we're gonna talk about how God's grace is free forever. The Bible tells us that God's grace is a gift. And as you know, when we receive a present, we're not expected to pay for it. When was the last time your parents or your grandparents gave you a gift and then asked you how you were gonna pay them back for it? I'm guessing never, because then it wouldn't be a gift, would it? God's grace is like that. His grace is a gift and we can't pay for it. He doesn't expect us to. And again, we couldn't even if we tried. And God promises us that once we receive that gift, we can never lose it. We'll never mess it up. We'll never break it. And no one and nothing can separate us from his gift. Think about a time when you've made a promise. Maybe you've promised mom and dad that you were gonna clean your room or maybe you promised a friend that you were gonna play with them after lunch. Sometimes we cross our heart in order to show that we mean what we say. It really kind of seals the deal, doesn't it? Well, God promised us that he would be with us forever. And he crossed his heart and gave us Jesus so that we would know he meant what he was saying. Jesus then died on a cross for us, paying the price for our sin, our unbelief. But Jesus didn't stop there. He didn't stay on the cross. He rose again to life to show us that nothing, not even death, could separate us from God's promise. And then God sealed the deal and gave us his spirit to live inside of us forever. Knowing about and remembering Jesus is super important. Jesus gave us a way to remember him. We call it communion. And in just a second, we're gonna take communion together. What you're gonna need to do first is get yourself a little piece of bread or a cracker and get some juice or some water for us to take communion together. So right now, I'm gonna give you just a little bit of time to go gather your bread and your water. Now that you're back with your bread and your water, let's take communion together. On the night that he was arrested, Jesus ate one final meal with his friends. And sitting at the table, he took the bread and he broke it into pieces and passed it out to his friends. And he asked them to remember that his body was broken for them. Let's go ahead and eat our bread now, remembering that Jesus' body was broken for us. Jesus also took the wine and he poured it out and he asked his friends to remember that his blood would be poured out on their behalf. Let's take our water now and drink and remember that not only was his blood poured out for us, but that he rose again to new life and promised new life to us. I wanna thank you guys for being such good listeners and learners and for the time that we've spent together learning our ABCs of grace. I love you so much and I can't wait to see you next time.